Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Cassani Burke. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Members of the St. Mary's Planning Commission say the group's Monday night meeting about a potential convenience store in Leonardtown drew attention. Residents of the Hanover Farms neighborhood attended the meeting to voice concerns about a potential 7-Eleven convenience store and gas station. They discussed traffic concerns, crime, and a possible conflict of interest if the school were if the store was to sell cigarettes, the store would be within the school's drug-free zone. The store would be located on the corner of Medley's Neck Road and Point Lookout Road, near the county fairgrounds. The St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office is currently moving to trademark its badges, patches, and designs used to identify the department. The Sheriff's Office claims it's the oldest in the United States, with records going back to 1637, and if it succeeds in trademarking, its image will, only, will join only a few other police departments in the nation to trademark their symbols such as the Los Angeles and New York City Police Departments. Corporal Julie Yingling, a spokesperson for the Sheriff's Office, says the logos use the America's First phrase in reference to being the first Sheriff's Department, and that the office is very honored to have that designation. Recently, the St. Mary's County Commissioners met for a budget work session to take their first look at next year's capital improvements budget. Jeanette Cudmore, Chief Finance Officer for the County, was in attendance to present the budget packet for fiscal 2021. The projects will require $37 million from general obligation bonds next fiscal year. In an upcoming December 17th meeting, the Commissioners will make decisions on what to cut and increase from this budget. New projects to the, bud to the program include Johnson Farm Pond Repair, an urban legacy program, a shoreline resiliency project, a radio tower camera security project, sheriff's headquarters construction, and several updates to county schools. Meanwhile, FDR Boulevard, Peg Road sidewalks, health department renovations, and phase seven of the Three Notch Trail are some of the projects that will require a budget increase. Lessons on the Holocaust could soon be expanded and enforced in all of Maryland's public schools. The Maryland State Department of Education intends to adopt a number of changes to enhance the required Holocaust instruction, such as adding it to fourth and fifth grade school social studies lessons, teaching about the roots of anti-Semitism and bolstering lessons on the subjects in high school classes. An official from the United States Holocaust Museum in Washington says it will give students the opportunity to think critically about the past and related to relevance in society today. La Plata resident Garth Bowling hopes his new book, Gateway to the Confederacy, will help people see the history that lies within their communities and their families. Bowling, a retired educator from Charles and St. Mary's County, has been compiling local stories of the Civil War over the past 40 years. The book is currently available at Martin's service station at 309 Charles St. in La Plata and Apple's Basket Antiques at 27056 Mount Zion Church Road in Mechanicsville. The Leonardtown Raiders are going to the 4A State's soccer tournament due to their intense win against the Savannah Park Falcons. The Raiders attribute their victory to junior Connor Yeager for scoring the winning goal in the last three minutes of the game, leading the final score between the Raiders and the Falcons to be 3-2. Great Mills Field Hockey defeats Choplicon and captures the Class 3A South Region 1 Championship. Head coach for Great Mills Hannah Morse had this to say, we had not won the regional title here at Great Mill since I was a senior in high school, so I feel like we came full circle since 2008. The Hornets field hockey team came out of the championship with a 9-5 overall record. This news brief is provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Cassani-Birch. Signing off.